Now, um, this is a, a kind of a very broad algorithm that we, we use when we treat our epilepsy patients. And uh, you'll see that we get much more into this, but I just wanted to give you an idea of how the basic flow and algorithm work for these patients. So oftentimes the a patient who has failed multiple medications, at least two to three, but on average, it can be many more than that. Um, they go to our epilepsy neurology group and, you know, at that point, they get a history, examination, neuropsych evaluation, they get a high resolution MRI and video EEG. And so that's basically the workup that we do for almost all of our epilepsy patients who are medically refractory. Then based on what we find there, we'll do additional testing, PET studies, fMRI, WADA tests, MEG studies. And then with that, all that information together, then the epileptologist will present the patient in our epilepsy conference. And then depending what we as a group decide, the patient may go on and have a resection, such as a temporal lobectomy, or they may go on and have invasive monitoring. And, and there's two broad categories. There's SEEG and subdural grid. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, shortly. Then if they go through with invasive monitoring, depending on what we find with that diagnostic procedure, we can then go on and do resection, neuro, neurostimulation, DBS, laser ablation. So as you can see here, it's a, it's a fairly large you know, algorithm. It takes you know, sometimes months for the patient to go through this, but the reason for that is actually very important. And that is that we really spend a lot of time and really think about and, and concentrate on and try and understand that, that patient's epilepsy. Um, you know, unlike other fields in neurosurgery, if you have a tumor, you can see the tumor on the MRI, you can remove it. If you have an aneurysm, you know where that is, you can clip the aneurysm. This is a much more, uh, as I mentioned before, team approach, but it's also very focused on each patient and tailoring the approach to each patient, as you can see. And again, just going back to it, uh, as a group in our epilepsy conference, you're all welcome to join it if, if you can, but um, what you'll see is that all of us bring our own uh, interests and knowledge and, and base, you know, basic understanding to the group with the goal of really treating patients with the best you know, level of care. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.